Ladies and gentlemen, the last time we were here, we did a setup for to allow us to do tax withholding for a supplier. So I promise that in the next video, what we are going to be doing ideally is to uh, try and create our sales. Not try rather, but create a purchase invoice. And then we see what is going to happen. So from Awesome Search again, I'm going to do purchase invoice. And then there we don't have any purchase invoice here yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and create one. And here, uh, I'm going to select my Awesome Supplier here. This again is the supply we created during our last video. And note that when we select this supplier here, you're going to see some activity here. So this one is going to be checked. And then we are also going to have a, an input here for the tax cat withholding category uh, that is apply applicable for this supplier. So let me go ahead and do that. Select. And if you set up this well, this is going to happen. If that didn't happen, then there is a problem with your setup. You need to go back to my first video and watch it again. And then here we need, of course, to specify what are we buying from this supplier. So that is why we created this one item. So I'm going to select that one item, give a price because this is our first item. This I, I mean our first sale. This item doesn't have a price here, so I can just set it up. Let me just sell one of them, and then once we are we are done, uh, once we do that, we are literally done. Now, you notice that down here there doesn't seem to be any activity in the purchase taxes and charges, but that is simply because we have not saved our document. The moment we save it. And here we have this one applica applied and we have a price. The system is automatically going to compute this and put it here. Let's go ahead and do that. Save. And then we can scroll down again and you notice that now here in the purchase taxes and charges, there is an actual type of charge. Account head is the account we used in the category section, remember? And then here we can see the amount is 500 because it is 5% of 10,000. And now we can see the amount that we need to pay this supplier is 9,500. We can go ahead now and submit this uh, purchase invoice if we are contented with that. Now up to this point, let me open a new tab and show you something. Here, when we go to the chart of accounts, uh, and you remember that we created an account here in the duties and taxes, uh, this account called TDS account UL, you notice that the amount is still not affected here. Ideally, because let, let me get this off so that it don't, doesn't keep popping. Uh, ideally, because uh, we have not submitted our purchase invoice. When we submit it, we are expecting that here we are going to see 500 reflected. Let me now go back to the other tab and submit this one. And that is submitted. Go back here and then we can refresh. Where is refresh here? Refresh. This refreshed everything, so we can just dig in again. And now here, when you see, if you see, you notice that we have 500 uh, Kenya shillings in my case as an amount that is withheld. Now, this invoice is now here and pending, and the grand total is 9,500, although the amount is 10,000 here. So that is how simple it is to track that amount within the ERP, rather within ERP next to be very, very specific. Now, um, so the other thing that I would like maybe to show you here, let me see my slide. Uh, so here we have created a purchase invoice track expectation. So yes, expectation is basically uh, the, my, my expectation would have been that I'm supposed to pay 9,500 and I can see that. My other expectation is that I will see that amount in the account that was selected as the tax withholding account and that has also happened. So that is the expectations that we were supposed to manage there. Then the other thing is view affected accounts. Of course, that is again, this looks like it's a repetition. The affected accounts is this one mainly. Of course, the other accounts are basic, uh, the basic accounts uh, that are supposed to be affected by a purchase invoice. So we are not going to be diving into that in this video. And the other one is view expected report. So how can we view the report? Number one is that I can go to the TDS and view accounting ledger here. So you see, this is how the ledger looks. I can see here that there is a 500 and you notice that the balance is negative because 
you are owing those who this is ideally a liability that is why it is a negative amount here the other report that i can show you is uh, if i navigate to the reports here you notice that there is a report called tax withholding details if you open that report and you show it here uh, let me refresh this report in the supplier section you so basically there are two of them the supplier and customer we are going to see customer in the in later videos but in the supplier section you can even filter by date range here if you want and now if you look here you can see there is the total amount 10,000 base total 10,000 TDS amount that is tax uh, deducted at source amount is 500 and the grant total that you paid for this specific uh, transaction which ideally is this purchase invoice here is 9500 so those are the basic reports that we can view uh, within the system thank you so much for watching this video when we come back we are going to be seeing how now you can pay this tax because yes you have withheld it but now how do you pay that is our next slide here how do you pay this amount to the relevant authorities because you withheld the money from suppliers now uh, you need to pay that amount to the government we will see that in our next video till then take care